Hi, this is Maya with Rico. Today we're talking about persistent highlighting. Persistent highlighting is the ability to globally highlight your documents without having to execute a search. The highlighting is configured using persistent highlight sets. To create a new persistent highlight set, you navigate to the tab and you select the new persistent highlight set option. Give your highlight set a name. This should be something that your review team is going to understand and something that reflects the review or is somehow descriptive of the terms. This name is going to appear in the persistent highlight pane within the document viewer interface. The order is the order in which your sets are going to be presented with that same pane and within the view that we just navigated to to get to this interface. Select the source of your terms. Either enter terms within this text box by selecting the terms radio button, or if you have more complicated syntax or maybe a lot more terms, you can use the highlight fields and base your persistent highlight set on for instance, a search term report field or even a domains field. I'm going to navigate back to our persistent highlight sets and get into the syntax and the highlighting a little more in depth. I'll start with terms. So we can see here that I've set the persistent highlight set up with the name, the order, and the source, and here are my terms within that text box. The very first term here isn't actually a term that's going to get results, nor do you need it in your persistent highlight set, but this should help you understand what the numbers correspond to. First, we have the background color separated by a semicolon, and the next is the text color, and then finally the term to be highlighted. So here we have 14, semicolon 1, semicolon outstanding, trade with a little wild card. You need to separate each term by a line, and I recommend you keep the syntax simple. You can um, get the variations of your terms exactly as they exist on your documents. Um, the DT Search Dictionary really helps with this. So you can use ands and ors and wildcards, but proximity, fuzziness, and stemming won't work. So if you're going to, maybe we need to search for our custodian, um, Andrew Zipper. We can break out the terms and put each variation of that name into separate lines. I'm going to go ahead and remove that term at the top. And I'm done editing, so I hit save and back. Some other details about this. You'll probably want to use fields instead of terms when your documents contain thousands of term hits within a single document. It'll slow down your review and the viewer will load more slowly. You'll also want to avoid long lists of numbers, duplicate terms, and um, if your term list is very long, or maybe it contains a lot of searching syntax, that's another reason to use the fields instead of terms. So since we hit save and back, this is updated and it's already live for your reviewers. So I'm gonna go back and now we can talk about the highlight fields. You can see here we configured our field to return anything that's marked in the str privilege field. Now this is a search term report field so we can actually configure the results using the search term report functionality. So I'll navigate to search term reports, find the search term report that we're using, and we can modify terms. So for the syntax using the field uh, within the search term reports, you can use the same ands, ors, and wildcards, but you can also use proximity. Stemming, however, is still not recognized, 
and any operator that you use in quotes is treated as the literal character. So um, it won't actually return any variation of run if you run it with quotations. It'll actually look for this exact these exact characters. So just remember to remove your quotations when using fuzzy searches or any other syntax. To update the colors, um, you can see down at the bottom we have the background color and the text color. We can modify the colors for individual records, I'm sorry, individual terms if we want by selecting the checkbox, select the drop down that you want to change, and then you select apply color. Now, if you needed to add or remove terms, you would have to do the same workflow for search term reporting generally. You add your terms here, you put them into this existing terms pane, select done, go back to your report and run all terms. Once the run all terms is done, then your term hits will be available within the document list and the viewer. So you can see here, there's our search term report fields. These are the actual terms that are going to be um, highlighted in our document. So additional resources, you can navigate to the relativity documentation to get your color code for the term reporting, I'm sorry, the term highlighting, and more tips and tricks also. Or you can take a screenshot of this video. So thanks for joining me today. We covered how to create persistent highlight sets using terms or fields. And uh, happy reviewing.